So I'm gonna do my makeup. I already started by using a primer. And mine's kind of a pricey one. I got like a trio of like two different primers and under eye cream for like 50 quid online. Um, but you can use any kind. One thing I would suggest is if it feels like silicone, like if you put it on and it feels kind of like velvety, it's probably not the best because your makeup will side off. But if it feels just like a cream, like a moisturizer, it's it's better. Now, I'm gonna get some foundation. I am using the pennies one. And a brush is essential. I know I used to apply my foundation and makeup with my fingers as well, but um, it's not the best option. So I get some, I like to use a big brush like this. It's, I um, can't remember what kind of brush it's called, or a flat brush like this. Or if I'm using a regular foundation brush, it helps to have a sponge, but I'll go through that in a second. So now, I think I put too much on the brush, but it's fine. Yeah, I look crazy, I know. But, like I was saying before, less isn't more. If you want it to stay on, then you have to give it your most. And another thing that really helps is a full or medium coverage foundation. Most of them will say it on it, what it is. Exactly. I look nuts. I honestly don't usually use this much foundation, but... I overestimated. Oops. Um, so yeah, don't worry though, we'll uh, fix it up. Just make sure to blend it all in because, um, yeah, it needs to be blended. I just have a little mirror here. See how we're getting on. This is the pennies foundation, by the way. But I honestly did take too much. I don't usually use this color in the summer. Anyways, because um, it's a little bit too pale for me in the summertime. I use these ones I got online, LA Girl. They're about ten quid, but like, they're really really nice. So they are. They're less um, heavy on the skin. I feel like the pennies one, it's a good coverage, but um, oh, they're quite heavy. Right, I look nuts, but it's fine. We'll fix that. I hope. My lighting is also really harsh, so. Yeah, but anyways, so it's all blended in. Make sure it's blended into your neck. Where's my sponge? The other thing about a sponge is, if you're gonna use like a foundation brush, it leaves a lot of lines. But if you just get a sponge, a beauty sponge, you can get these in pennies as well. It helps if they're damp. And to dampen them, honestly, you just go under the tap and just go like that with the water. And kind of make sure it's just like as dry as you can get it. And that way, um. It won't take off your makeup or like wet your face, but it really helps to blend. Right, so I look a little less crazy. Personally, I like to cream contour to put some colour into my face. I use this one by NYX. Um, you can get ones that are way cheaper. Um, I'm sure you can get them in Essence, you can get them in Pennies even. This is one I got in a pharmacy ages ago called Conceal, it's called Collection. But it has a brown shade in there that you can use to cream contour. Um, I have other ones that I got online. They were like two euro each. I'll just use a little bit just to show you what I mean. So, yeah, you just want a little line. And then that part there. And then I'm going to use the next one on the other side. And for this, because it's like a, a pan, this is like, this is actually like a um, conceal correct contour thing. So it has like yellow and pinks to cancel out different 
undertones. Yellow helps to cancel out purple, so if you have purple skin. Uh, pink is also good for like under eye, like dark under eyes. And then the other two are just lighter contour shades. It's for someone who's black basically, this palette. It's for someone who's already really dark skinned. And they could use this colour to like highlight. For me that's too dark. And then generally speaking I just buff this into the skin. Just gonna get my other mirror. I just buff this in. It doesn't really do like... It doesn't make me look crazy or anything. It just kind of warms up the face and defines the cheekbones. I'm going with this side then. I like to use circular motions. Um, all these brushes are from Penny's, by the way. And this is like a double sided that I've had for years. Uh, you can use any kind of brush though really. You can use, you don't even have to use cream contour. I'll get to the powder contour in a second. So I will. But I just like to use this because it's small and I can really like blend it, blend it into the skin. There's nothing like crazily precise about it, it's just 